Tyson, your reaction? Yes, Tyson. It's heavyweight boxing, boys. It happens. Shit happens. You get knocked spark out. It could have been me. It could have been you. It could have been anybody. In the heavyweight division, it's what happens. Oh, One punch away from what, being smashed, knocked out. What went wrong, you feel, with the game plan that Joshua had in that first round? I think round? what went wrong is what always goes wrong in heavyweight boxing. Good right hand on the end of the chin. Mm. And that was it. Can yeah, you like, come back from this, Tyson? I don't know. Listen, it's up to the man, and it? Whatever he wants to do. If he's got a, um, got a good ambition to come back again and do what he's got to do, I don't know. I thought it was a 50-50 fight. Mm, yeah. God's honest truth. Um, Duke Bar's a lot younger and he's 26, 7 year old, every man's 35, 7 ages maybe. Age don't wait for anybody, does it? It is what it is. And listen, you get caught with them punches and you don't see many heavyweights get hit, get knocked down, get back up to you and continue on. Today's episode is packed with explosive news. We're talking about the fiery confrontation between Tyson Fury and Oleksandr Usyk at the recent Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubois fight. Yes, you heard that right. Two of the biggest names in heavyweight boxing nearly came to blows ringside. Joshua versus Dubois wasn't the only fight the fans came to see. Fury and Usyk brawled it out in the stands. It got heated. You know how Tyson Fury rolls. The guy is a ticking, one wrong comment, and he's going to explode. There's a lot of drama involved with this one, so without further ado, Let's take a deep dive into this video. Were you impressed with Daniel Dubois? Sorry? Were you impressed with Daniel Dubois tonight? Good performance? Yes, good performance. How much are you looking forward to the Tyson Fury fight in December? I don't think about it because I think only my prepare. My wife, my uh, child. Did you, did you speak to Tyson tonight? So, let's set the stage. The boxing world was buzzing with anticipation for the Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubois fight. Everyone expected fireworks, but not the kind we eventually got. Dubois stunned everyone by knocking out Joshua in the fifth round. No one saw this coming, and I mean no one. But what happened outside the ring was just as explosive. The tension spilled over into the crowd, where two of boxing's biggest names, Tyson Fury and Oleksandr Usyk, almost came to blows. It started when Usyk was having a conversation with Terence Crawford, who was also in the house. That's when Fury, the Gypsy King himself, made his entrance. And things escalated fast. Words were exchanged, tempers flared, and the atmosphere crackled with intensity. For a moment, it seemed like we were about to witness an unscheduled fight, with fists ready to fly. It was the kind of high-stakes confrontation that reminded everyone why these fighters are the most electrifying personalities in the sport today. Sorry, Let me free, but I'm going to Tyson. I know, I know. Let's talk about the fight that set the stage for this chaos. Joshua, coming off a winning streak, was the clear favorite against Dubois, but Dubois came prepared and landed a vicious counter right in the fifth round that sent Joshua to the canvas. Not to mention he knocked AJ multiple times before he secured the W with a KO. It was a shocking knockout that had everyone in the arena on their feet. No one saw it coming. How could they? Anthony Joshua was the face of boxing. He was on his redemption arc, ready to take on Usyk after that one. But I guess the universe had different plans. Instead, we got Daniel Dubois calling Alexander Usky out. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, not much sweet in front of Fury and Usyk as well, because those guys, and 
how I use their next opponent. Yeah, they they're my targets now. They you know these are. I want to get my rematch and, you know, put, put the wrong right and, you know, you know, God bless and just come through it. Now, while the fight in the ring was intense, the real drama unfolded just a few feet away. Both Tyson Fury and Oleksandr Usyk were in attendance. And as you know, these two have been circling each other for quite some time, especially after their matchup in the ring. Yeah, Tyson wasn't happy about that one. He lost to Usyk in a pro bout on points. But hey, if you can't win inside the ring, you gotta take the fight outside. And that's exactly what Tyson Fury did. I believe that I was the best I could have been. I don't think I could have done any better. Um, maybe if, if they'd have said to me, write you down in the last two rounds, I probably could have went out and tried to attack him and tried to get him out of there myself. But other than that, I'd done the best I could, you know. He's a good fighter. Just finish, please. Rematch, gentlemen, thoughts. Sorry? Rematch thoughts? Yeah, you know, we just had a fight. <clears throat> if you can see my face, I'm pretty um, busted up and he's gone to the hospital with a broken jaw. And he's busted too, so we punched out of each other for 12 rounds there. So we're going to go home, eat some food, drink a few beers, spend some family time, walk my dog, go to the tip. And me and Frank will talk about what's going to happen in the future. Now both guys are set to face each other in a rematch on December 21. But hey... Why wait that long when both guys are going head-to-head -head with each other right now? Here's how it all went down. After Dubois delivered that KO to Joshua, the cameras swung to Fury and Usyk, and that's when things got wild. The two started exchanging some serious trash talk. Fury, ever the entertainer, jumped up, shouting and gesturing, clearly fired up. Usyk, not one to shy away, clapped back, and within seconds, both of them were charging at each other. The crowd went nuts as security rushed in to keep these two giants apart. It was chaos, pure adrenaline, and had everyone on the edge of their seats, wondering if we were about to see an unexpected showdown. After the incident, Fury spoke to the media, and in true Fury fashion, he didn't hold back. He said, and I quote, this is heavyweight boxing, Things get heated. We fought before, and it didn't go the way I wanted it to. But that doesn't mean it won't go my way this time. The guy kept his mouth running, so I went there and shut it myself. Usyk, on the other hand, took a more composed approach. He told reporters, Fury likes to talk, but talking doesn't win fights. There's a reason why he lost to me, and the same reason he'll lose to me again. This is what he does causing a scene, going crazy. But when it comes to boxing, everyone saw who came out on top. Usyk was just vibing, enjoying the fight and minding his own business. Then, out of nowhere, Tyson Fury decided to bring the chaos. Fury came at him out of the blue and it was totally uncalled for. But let's be real, it lit up the internet like wildfire. Social media went crazy, memes started flying, and it was all anyone could talk about. Classic Fury, always finding a way to steal the show. But let's not forget about Anthony Joshua. This loss to Dubois has left his career in a precarious position. Many are wondering if he can bounce back or if this is the end of his time at the top of the division. Joshua himself has said he's not retiring, but it's clear that he's got a long road ahead if he wants to reclaim his spot among the heavyweight elite. We success and we came short, unfortunately. We rolled the dice for the third time. It's 30 more title fights, and not everyone's been successful, but everyone's been fighting entertainment. We kind of create history for British boxing, and I think we're doing that. And also, I appreciate all the press, media, the fans out here, but I'm thanking them for you guys. I'm sure you guys will let them know. We appreciate it. their support. And probably you're asking, do I still want to continue fighting? Of course, I want to continue fighting. Yeah. That's what I said is we took a shot of success and we came up short. And what does that mean now? We're going to run away. We're going to live to fight another day. And that's why I'm on the warrior. And also, before I finish, we have to give credit to our public. 
even though when I silence or fight opponents, I um, don't really like them in my head anymore. <laughs> but now it's done. Now let's take a quick look at what the pros are making of this shocking upset. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.